In the fish and basal tetrapods, we will be discussing about the origin of vertebrates. So whenever we talk about the vertebrates, these are the organisms which are having the vertebral column. And the vertebral column is very much part of the skeleton. So if the, an organism has skeleton, then it will evolve the vertebral column. So what is skeleton? The skeleton is the internal support structure of the organism after they came onto the land or even inside the water, they need some support structures. So the bone and cartilage, these were the so support structures that were formed in the earlier organisms, in the earlier animals, especially in the fishes and the basal tetrapods. So bone, it is a network of collagen fibers on which needle-like crystals of hydroxy appetite, a form of um, appetite which is calcium phosphate accumulates. So it is just network of proteins and in those proteins the uh, minerals are deposited and it makes a very hard structure which is called bone and these bones are responsible for giving the support to the uh, animal and another uh, uh, support structure is the cartilage uh, the cartilage is uh, somewhat flexible and it is having more flexibility and as well as it is able to grow more as compared to the bone so the cartilage is the flexible tissue, usually unmineralized, contains collagen and elastic tissue. So the bones and cartilage, they both combine to make the skeleton. And they are in turn will evolve into the vertebral column. So in humans, early skeleton is made up of cartilage and it is progressively mineralized by the appetite. So the first vertebrates had a cartilaginous skeleton. If we talk about the first organisms that contain the vertebral column they had this uh, cartilaginous skeleton and in many ways this cartilaginous skeleton was much more superior to the other form of skeletons for example the exoskeleton were present uh, in many other organisms which we have discussed earlier or in the insects uh, in those organisms either you have to shed the exoskeleton in order to grow or it is, you know, not as much versatile as compared to the uh, skeleton which is present inside. And skeleton can grow throughout the life if it is cartilaginous skeleton. So some of the oldest fish grow very large because of the skeleton can grow with the animal. And it was advantageous than the exoskeletons. So then comes the jawless fishes. Uh, the, or, the, or, the jawless fishes are the first fishes which developed the skeleton and they had the two key defining characteristics, the head and the neural crest tissue. In uh, the vertebrates, the head is the most pronounced thing. We have a head, all the vertebral, uh, vertebrates are having head. All the other organisms which are, uh, or the animals which are having the head, they, we just call, for example, if you take snail, we just call their interior part as head. We don't call, uh, they don't have any cranium. And we also called the vertebrates as craniates. Cranium is a, a, is a structure which protects the brain. And we do have brain, all the other organisms have all the other animals of vert vertebrates have this uh, cranium as well. So then, and the next thing which differentiate from the other or animals is the neural crest. The neural crest appears in the early embryo as a strip of cell where the backbone will develop. So just behind this, just beneath the skin uh, at the ectoderm, there will be the uh, the crest or strip of cell will appear which will later into the uh, which will later develop into the vertebral column so the first vertebrate had no jaws and uh, uh, where do we see those uh, fossils we see those fossils at the ching kiang in china and those fossil remains are from the early cambrian period and then there are the late cambrian and ordovician uh, period and at that period, the commonest vertebrates were conodont animals. And the conodonts we have discussed earlier, these were the organisms which had some particular cone-like structure fossils and we couldn't uh, identify or uh, 
explain those and we will be discussing those later as well. So the jaws, uh, jawless fishes were the ostracoderms and they were jawless and ge generally armored and they had their heyday in the Devonian period. Heyday means that they flourished uh, in the Devonian period. And one of the, uh, the example is hemicyclapsis. Um, and today, there are the 50 or so species of lamprey, hagfish, and eel-shaped animals. These are related to these ancient fishes. You can see a jawless fish, the osteo Austriacan hemicyclaspis from the Devonian period. And you can see that these are the organisms which are having licking the jaw, right? So they had some uh, structure from which they can eat, but they didn't have the pronounced jaw. And then comes the conodonts, uh, the con animals of mystery, right? So we didn't know about, uh, we had the fossils and they had weird structures. But we couldn't define that what these animals indeed are. So these are the commonest early vertebrates and that was established by the Sweden Dono in 2001. For over 150 years, a mystery known only from their jaw elements and no one knew which animal had produced them. So we will be discussing about the conodonts in detail. 